another episode of Alpine Garage Bronco Daily. Today we are going to talk about the Bronco Tactical Bar. And folks, we're putting out Bronco videos daily. And all we would ask you to do is right down in the corner over here and see some little mounts that say subscribe on it. Click on those mountains and join us on our journey this year. We would love to have you. And if you find these videos interesting or helpful, please give us a like. It helps us in that YouTube ether find our audience. This is a DIY dash bar that I made about a month and a half ago for Mandy for the Bronco. At the time, there wasn't a lot available. The stuff that was being developed wasn't available to actually purchase. So loving to fabricate, decided to make my own. Now I am a firearms enthusiast uh, at a very high level. So anything that I can put Picatinny rail on is always a plus for me. So I wanted to make this thing look even cooler than the ones that were in the original Bronco ad. Even though the fit and finish of the Bronco on the inside is very elegant, I wanted to toughen it up a little bit because that's what this truck is, it's a tough truck. I hope I succeeded at that. So far we love it. Now I'm gonna break this down really quickly for you and then if you wanna see how I built it, I'm gonna show you how I built it because you can build it yourself if you'd like. And by the way, everything that you see here, including the actual mounts, was well under $100. It just took some time and some fabricating in order to get this to this point. So the frame on this one is actually aluminum channel rail, which is essentially this, which is 3 8 by 1 half by 48 inch channel rail, as you can see right there. So very stiff and very light and very easy to work with. So this is the base of this. And then I also added for the mounting flange, this is 14 gauge steel. So it's an all metal construction. And then I used for the Picatinny rail, I used poly rail because it's easy to work with, it's inexpensive, and it's lightweight, and it's super strong. Now obviously I picked flat desert earth on this. The FDE is a awesome color. I love trucks in this color, so I knew that the tactical rail would look really good. And I've built a lot of ARs with black on FDE Picatinny rail, and it just looks awesome. So that's what it did. I was originally gonna paint the frame a flat desert earth, but after that decided, I've used a lot of this flat matte carbon fiber vinyl in interior work. And I'll link in the description below one of my most popular videos where I vinyl accented the entire interior of an Audi Avant S4, and it turned out unbelievable. So I'm gonna link that in the description as well. And that wrap of the aluminum made everything. That's exactly what I needed to do in the first place. We actually had it in the raw aluminum for a while and I liked it as well. Uh, but this just sets it off and the flat desert earth makes it pop. It has a ton of utility, it's just tactical enough to make it stand out but not so gaudy that it takes away from the beautiful interior of the Bronco. And then I'm using acrylic feet on this, uh, just something lightweight that I, could, that I could mold into that footwell to where it fits really nicely and sticks really well. On top of that, I ordered a couple of accessories here which are very inexpensive but really good uh, phone holder. And also for a GoPro, I have the GoPro mount. The nice thing about this Picatinny rail is any Picatinny accessory will fit on it and they're super solid. And then if that weren't enough, I decided to take it one step further and I added LED accent lighting to the bottom of it right here. It's got a 27 inch blue LED strip running right through it. It's gonna be wired to the number six aux switch in our truck so we can turn it on and off at will. And it gives a very nice, a subtle blue accent that is pretty indescribable. And with my truck being blue, and the other accent lighting that I'm gonna be doing on the truck is also going to be blue. You know, if you need a little moonlighting inside the truck, which we all do, because it's a new Bronco, and you know what that does to the ladies. When we first got the Bronco, uh, obviously because we do a lot of filming, I knew that this jack, right here on the accessory port was probably gonna fit a camera mount, which is quarter inch 20 thread. And you can get the adapters by themselves for less than $3 on Amazon that'll fit right in there that have a thumb screw that actually tighten, but we just wanted to do it quickly, so we just uh, got a piece of all thread and cut it. You can also use a bolt and cut the head off, but a piece of all thread in quarter inch 20 and then just put a nut on the end of it. And if you back this into the GoPro housing or even a camera mount housing, all the way until it stops and then turn this screw up just a little bit and throw this in this is how we've been doing it for a while just tighten it up just like that and then now we have it where we want it we were doing this for well over a month and so you can see this thing is this thing is super sturdy so i love that it looks tactical i think that's my favorite thing about it but it's also got a lot of utility because Almost anything that you can buy that fits a Picatinny rail will adjust to this. So we're actually gonna put lights in here as well that have a flex sleeve on them so that we can read maps a little bit closer than using the map lights here. But just like outfitting an AR-15, you're outfitting your Bronco, so I mean, how cool is that? At this point, we got exactly what we wanted. We paid under $100. I got to have fun fabricating it, and you can do it too. 
just get in the garage and fabricate it. Now, I'm gonna show you how I built this. If you wanna stick around and check it out, that way you can get in the garage and do it yourself. After I finished this one, I started on the Bronco Tactical Rail 2.0, but I changed up just a little bit after making this one. There's a couple of small adjustments I'm gonna make, and I'm gonna be giving that away to a subscriber later on. As soon as I finish it, I'll show you guys what it looks like, kinda of show you the changes that I made to it, and then at that point, we're gonna do a giveaway and let somebody else have fun with it for a while. So stick around and I'll show you how I made this. I mean, I had so much fun making this. I just can't describe it. I first started out with some aluminum trim panel that I got from Home Depot. It's a 3 8 inch by half inch channel rail. It was 48 inches long. The end cut was 32 inches because if you measure the wells that are made for the feet in the Bronco dash for the bar that goes in there, you're going to notice that it's 32 inches. Then I went through, after cutting it to 32 inches, I went through, sorted out the Picatinny rail based on how I wanted it to fit and I put gaps in between each Picatinny rail to make the accessories easy to get on and off. Once I did that, I used the biggest piece to put in the center. Then I measured the total distance from the end of that piece to the end of the rail. I measured then the total amount of length of the rest of the Picatinny rail on that side. And then I divided it out for my gaps so that the gaps would be even on each one. Placed the Picatinny in those spots, marked them, and drilled them. Then I went through and I tapped each hole because they do come with T-nuts, but I didn't use the T-nuts specifically on most of the holes. I just tapped the holes so that it would be a cleaner fit for those screws to go through the Picatinny into the aluminum. Once I did that, I scribed out the mount, which is the part that mounts actually onto the dash. I scribed that out in a D shape, which would give it enough surface area to be strong, uh, but not so wide that it's obtrusive. I measured from the where I wanted the aluminum rail to be to where that hole was in the dash, and then I scribed the lines out and drilled the hole for that. Then I mounted the whole thing together with the metal mounting bracket and started on the foot. So then in the feet, I went ahead and put a bolt through each side and used some of the T-nuts that came with the Picatinny and cut out some acrylic feet. Now that acrylic that I'm using, it's 3 8 acrylic and it is strong enough to hold up that bar with no issue. And then I used a plastic resin adhesive to attach the T-nuts to the feet and then drilled the hole where I needed to in the tactical rail to put the adjustable bolt in there and place that through. Then I cut out of this scrap aluminum that I left I cut box ends to box the end of the channel rail off uh, so that it's a complete bar with no hole in the end. And then I used aluminum adhesive to uh, adhere that on there, which would be plenty strong enough. Then once I did that, I pulled the whole thing apart. I sanded and cleaned down the aluminum and I cut my carbon fiber to where it will actually overlap the aluminum with just a little bit of extra so I can lap that underneath the, where the channel rail is and get that sealed off correctly so that it doesn't come loose and then work the bubbles out with a squeegee. I did the same thing to the mount so that it matched the bar. I went ahead and reassembled the entire Bronco bar and painted the hardware a gloss black. Lastly, I went and got a 27 inch LED light strip and it is self-adhesive, pulled that off. I had heated that to the inside of the front side of the Bronco bar so that it, the light shines in the truck instead of out over the front of the truck. And then that's going to be wired to one of the aux switches so that I can turn that light on and off. And that is a wrap from Alpine Garage. I hope you found this informative. I know it was a long process, but likely you'll do your own thing with your Bronco bar and it'll be even more special to you. Please throw in the comments what you think of the Bronco Tactical Bar and if you have any questions about how I built it, because I didn't go into a great amount of detail, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Just hit me up in my email and I'll give you any pictures you want and send you videos. Please check the end screen for our additional videos. We make a daily Bronco video that you should check out.